let's see a scenario where we will be using a project budget and control for Dynamics 365 finance and operations. So in Dynamics 365 we have we can create a project and also we can for a project we can create a project budget. So for enabling a project budget there is some setups. Let's quickly review them. The setups are very simple. So if I go to project management and accounting parameters and then I go to cost control. So here first is budget control use budget control should be enabled and should be yes and also there are different for example which transactions have to be controlled either we want to have budget control for both revenue and cost or cost only revenue only let's keep it to cost and revenue most of the time budget is for controlling our costs also if i want to carry forward the remaining budget or the budget should be checked on document line save allow negative budgets to be carried forward and most important we have a setup we always budget will be based will have forecast model it will be based on a forecast model so which forecast model we have to use for the original total and remaining budget so this is a quick setup so after the setup is done <coughs> so this is a very simple setup next is for a project the project budget we can start with the WBS which is a work breakdown structure it is kind of a if we have uh, seen um, um, MS project or Prima Vera project, so it's very similar. We have uh, the activity, sub activity, sub sub activity. So we have a hierarchy of activity which start and dates. And then we can define the resources for each activity. Resources can be in terms of, uh, so these are the planned resources. It, they can be in terms of um, the manpower, which is basically hours or it can be in terms of my resources such as uh, material items or services where we can release purchase orders or work orders for the services against a project or they can be expense transactions or we can have second is we can have a forecast model and then we can create a budget importing that forecast next is always for a project the budget has to be sent for approval and approved before we can move ahead now if we are using a um, uh, project then uh, the uh, let's quickly see a project for example this is a project which i have a simple 131 and in this project also we have a tab which is budget and forecast if you see the budget control is yes so this has defaulted from the project parameter screen the setups we have the option uh, we can also go and modify it here so i'll keep the default settings because we want to have uh, a project budget and control for this uh, sample scenario let's quickly go and create some forecasts we can start from a WBS, but I want to quickly do this scenario. So let's say create some hours, forecast from hours. So let's say we have some development hours. So I'll take 1000 hours and we have some consulting hours. Let's take 500 and let's save it. Next, let's forecast from for some items <coughs> so I am taking one item uh, it's asking for site and warehouse this is because of the how the item is configured it may have storage dimensions enabled so I am taking 100 quantities of this item and let's save it next is we will go and create a project budget and import create the budget using the uh, forecast so this is done next we have to approve the budget so that is using the workflow i'll quickly go and submit this workflow once we have the workflow we can one thing is we need to see that the bad job so this is basically bad jobs and i have filtered on the workflow so these are four bad jobs this should be the status should be waiting 
also also for this uh, project if i go to workflow so this is the budget review original budget workflow so this workflow i have modified so that uh, instead uh, so that it is automatically approved so how it is done uh, if i go to if i go to the settings of this uh, workflow on automatic actions so i have created a condition which is basically project budget total cost for all transactions is greater or equal to 0 usd so if this condition is met the budget is automatically approved so this is a small condition which i have done for so that budget is automatically approved so let's quickly go to the project budget and see what is the status so let me go to the workflow so if we check the workflow this is complete the project budget is uh, approved so next is now that the project budget is approved we can move ahead with the project transactions and see how the project control functionalities work one thing i want to show is let's quickly see the project budget balances so if i go to this screen this is a screenshot snapshot of for example it shows the original budget our item wise approved budget consumed budget remaining budget committed so all this data is being shown now coming back to the project let's change the status of the project to released so that we can start doing the transactions so once the project is released let me quickly go and create a purchase order so that so i am going to create a purchase order so this is the project order which we are creating for the project i'll take the same item let's say i have chosen 10 quantities of the item on the po line in the financials i will do perform budget check and then i will go and see project budget status so if we look here we can see that for this project and for this item line the amount is this much the remaining budget amount is this much and the total remaining amount and there is a budget defined so this is okay next is let's confirm this po so after this purchase order is confirmed so the status is confirmed let's quickly go back to the project so on my project if i go to control so same project budget balances i will the same screen which you are seeing on the project if we see here against the item line we can see that the total budget approved budget is this much 696900 and there is a committed budget 69690 so what is this is very interesting so what has happened is since we have created a purchase order against this project an item for 10 quantities so this much cost has been committed since that po is approved so this is a very good feature interesting feature and when we actually invoice the purchase order this commitment cost will move to consumed budget cost also let's quickly see if how uh budget control works for journal lines so let's say we create a hour journal we are booking some hours on the project and we create a new line for this category pm let's say i am booking project management uh, 55 hours so if you see as soon as i entered the line it's showing me that for this category there is no budget created and approved so budget check is on the general lines for a project
so this is very interesting and powerful feature we have in in dynamics 365 finance and operations project budget so happy learning and thanks for viewing